Hey guys, KS Kiral here, back again with another brand new video. Many of you guys are asking me on how to install custom ROM on Pocophone F1. So here it is, today I will show you how to flash any custom ROM on your Poco F1 from scratch. Using this method you can almost flash any custom ROM like Pixel ROM, Nitrogen OS, Lineage OS, Oxygen OS or any other custom ROM. So watch the video carefully without missing any part of the video. So let's get started. Alright, so as you can see, this is the Pocophone F1 and you can see I'm having a 64 and 6 gigs variance. It's a steel blue by the way. And uh, anyway guys, watch the video till to the end. So this is the video for those who don't know how to flash a custom ROM and uh, how to jump from one custom ROM to another custom ROM. If you're looking for that kind of stuff, well, you're in the right video. So anyway, and as you can see, I'm running the MIUI 10, the global stable variant. So let me quickly gonna show you the version which I'm running. So I'm gonna go to the settings. Uh, about phone and you can see it's running the MIUI global 10.2 so by the time of recording this video this is a stable version so uh, and if you are in the developer ROM there is no problem it's good if you are in the developer ROM and as you can see I'm in the in MIUI uh, global 10.2 so anyway guys before flashing uh, any custom ROM whether it might be a pixel ROM the lineage OS or oxygen OS or whatever the ROM that you're going to flash the first thing you should always do if you are naive in flashing custom ROMs, just go ahead and back up all of your important data like photos, videos, the documents. It's very, very important so to be on the safer side just in case if anything goes wrong. So make sure you have to back up all your important data. So the next thing is make sure that you're having the sufficient battery juice. So I recommend 80 to 80% 80 or higher. It's very, very important. So next up, the two prerequisites that you need. Uh, flashing the custom ROM so the first one is obviously unlocked bootloader so make sure that your device is having an unlocked bootloader it's very very important if you don't know how to unlock the bootloader I already made a dedicated video you can check the link in the description down below go ahead and watch that video and also number two uh, prerequisite is going to be uh, make sure that you're having an official TWRP custom recovery has installed on your Poco F1 so I made it both videos check the link in the description down below just go ahead and watch that and come back here so once you're set and now you're good to go and now you will be able to install any custom ROM on your Poco phone F1 very easily. So for the sake of the demonstration in this video, I will be using a Pixel Experience ROM. So I'm going to show you how to install it and how to update it and also watch the video to the end and also show you how to uh, jump from one custom ROM to another custom ROM. Like for example, if I'm the Pixel ROM and later I decided to go and install the Oxygen OS or Havoc OS or whatever the custom ROM that it might be. So I'm going to show you how to do that without any data loss of course uh, we're gonna be um, a lot of the applications will be gone so you can you have to make a backup of the APK files if you wanted to and we will not be wiping the internal storage so that means the all of the data inside the internal storage will be safe nothing will be deleted uh, so anyway guys so go ahead and download the uh, latest ROM that you're fancy about it so as I told you I will be flashing a pixel ROM and also you need to download the latest vendor and firmware file all right it's very very important so if you're on the a developer ROM you don't need to download the uh, latest vendor and firmware because most of the custom ROMs are actually uh, based on the uh, developer ROM vendor and firmware so if you're coming from the a global stable 10.2 or the stable rom and you need to have a vendor and firmware basically the vendor and firmware are very very important in order to flash the custom rom so you have to have download that file just go to check the link in the description download the latest version and uh, place it somewhere on your internal sd card or internal storage or the sd card so once your everything is set up just go ahead and turn off the phone i'm going to go ahead and click on the reboot button while on rebooting i'm going to go ahead and keep holding the volume up button so this would essentially going to boot the device into the atwrp recovery mode so as you can see it's actually booted into the twrp recovery once you're inside the twrp recovery the first thing you should always do is just go and click on the wipe and of course you can make a backup but unfortunately uh the latest version of the twrp official recovery don't support the nandroid 
restore process and maybe in future it may gonna work and for as of now by the time of recording this video it's not working so you can also go ahead and back up entire the MIUI 10 ROM if you wanted to so then go ahead and click on the wipe and then you can click on the advanced wipe and uh, we are coming from the MIUI 10 right so it's always recommended to uh, wipe the uh, data I mean the cache as well as the Delwick as well as the system partition so select all of these partitions and don't select the internal storage it's very very important all right so just go ahead and select the first four partitions which are very very important just go ahead and swipe to wipe so once you swipe to wipe and you can see it's gonna say successful there are no errors at all and which means we are good to go all right, so once you're done wiping up the data, so next thing what you're gonna do is just go ahead and click on install button and select the ROM that you wanted to install. So most of the people make mistakes here. So what they eventually gonna do is after wiping up the uh, data, so they're gonna go to the and select the a uh, ROM and then they swipe to confirm flash and end up with this error. So what the hell is this error? It's called the error seven. The error seven is the issue that it will gonna be a race if you if it, it didn't found any kind of compatible vendor on firmware files then it's gonna be throw up these errors this is where the people got stuck and in the comments are asking me bro I got the error seven what should I do well it's a pretty good fix right so the all the thing the only thing that you can do is go ahead and download the latest vendor and firmware basically as of now by the time of recording this video. Uh, the 9.2.11-9.0 uh, vendor firmware is the latest version which is actually based on the developer ROM so as I told you uh, many ROMs most of the ROMs are actually based on the developer ROM so if you are installing any custom ROM it's always recommended at first flash the vendor and firmware it's very very important if you directly flash the pixel ROM and you end up getting the error 7 issues so to fix that just go ahead and first flash the a uh, vendor on firmware the latest version just go ahead and swipe to confirm flash if you're already on the developer rom 9.2.11 so it will not going to be throw you any errors directly going to be flash the rom so it should going to take a couple of uh, minutes so i will going to be uh, wait for it so once it's done i will be right back with you guys Right, so as you can see, it's almost done flashing or updating to the latest vendor on firmware. So you can see, then I'm going to go back to the home button. Then if I try to go ahead and install it, and then if I go ahead and select the custom ROM, any custom ROM, let's going to go ahead and select this Pixel Experience ROM 9.0. And then if I go to swipe to confirm flash, this time, no errors. You will not going to get any errors. So it's going to successfully going to flash the uh, pixel experience ROM so it's very important always remember if you're flashing any custom ROM the first thing you need to do is check the latest vendor on firmware so if it throws an error 7 try to update to the latest vendor on firmware so always try to install any kind of a developer ROM vendor and firmware files first uh, before the pixel I mean before any kind of a ROM so it's very important so as you can see uh, we are not getting any errors it's actually a uh, flashing this ROM so I will be right back with you guys once it's done all right guys now you can see this successful message and uh, you can also install uh, Google applications uh, as well as the a uh, custom kernels if you want to root you can install the a uh, magisk module if you want to so we are flashing the pixel ROM so it doesn't require any kind of a Google applications because by default uh, the pixel ROM is bundled with the Google application so anyway once it's done just gonna go and click on the reboot system and this should gonna be boot into the system and trust me and you will not gonna be end up getting any kind of a boot loops or any kind of a thing so it will gonna be flashed successfully so if you don't do a proper installation so then you will gonna be stuck at the boot logo so as you can see it's actually showing the a Google logo and this should gonna take a couple of minutes so sit back and relax so once it's done I will be right back with you guys All right, guys, as you can see, finally, uh, I have booted into the uh, Pixel ROM without any issues. You can see it's running the a, uh, older version, I guess. So I have installed the a Derp kernel one, I guess. There we go. You can see it's based on Android 9.0 Pi as well as the latest Android security patch all the February 5th, 2019. So anyway, guys, so that's the way. This is how we can install any custom ROM in your Poco of one. So 
later on someday you got a new update right so if you get an update like this the OTA updates it can download this update but unfortunately sometimes it may install or it may gonna fail but I personally recommend always try to use a manual method so what you're gonna do is just go ahead and download this update the latest version from the official website and place it onto your internal SD card then go ahead and boot the system into the TWRP again just go ahead and reboot it and keep holding the a volume up button so until it's going to boot into the TWRP recovery then you need to uh, let let go of the keys then you can see it's going to boot into a TWRP from here the first thing you should always do is uh, we are updating the a pixel ROM then you need to click on the wipe then click on the advanced wipe select Delwick and cache only don't select the system and data uh, we are actually doing a dirty flash method just going to go ahead and swipe to wipe once you swipe to wipe, just go ahead and click on install. Again, look for the latest version of the Pixel Experience ROM. So is it, this is the one, the latest one, I guess. By the time of recording this video, just go ahead and select it and swipe to confirm flash. So basically, it's going to be a update the system, a rather a completely installing the clean installation, right? So it's going to be just update the a Pixel uh, ROM, the newer the newer version. So as you can see, it's flashing without any issues. And this shit gonna take a couple of minutes again, so sit back and relax. Once it's done, I will be right back with you guys. Alright guys, as you can see, uh, we have successfully updated to the latest version of the Pixel Experience ROM. Let me quickly gonna show you the version. Settings, about phone, uh, there we go. You can see it's actually using the Spinex, the 2.5 version. And this is how you can install the Pixel Experience ROM in a Poco of One or update into the latest version of the Pixel Experience ROM. Well, after some time and you're bored with the Pixel ROM, one day. Uh, okay, hypothetically imagine so that you got bored with the Pixel ROM and you want to try out the newer custom ROMs like the Havoc OS, the Nitrogen OS, or the Lineage OS, or even the powerful Oxygen OS. Well, what are you going to do? Well, the thing is, just go ahead and download the ROM that you fancy and place it to the, your internal SD or the external SD card, doesn't matter. Just go ahead and place it somewhere. Let's go ahead and again, uh, if you're coming, we are jumping into the another custom ROM, so make sure. Uh, delete all of the lock screens, the fingerprints, the patterns, all the things uh, and sign out from the Google account as usual. You can only do this if you're jumping from one ROM to another ROM. So just go ahead and turn off the phone then. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and click on the restart the phone and then keep holding the volume up button again uh, in order to boot the phone into the TWRP recovery mode. So I will be using the Havoc OS uh, in this video so you can use any other ROM. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and uh, uh, focus this. So there we go. So when you are inside this and we are actually jumping from one ROM to another ROM. So it's always recommended wiping the system and data again. Just go to advance wipe, Delway cache system data, all of these four partitions. Always remember if you're flashing another ROM, I'm coming from one custom ROM to another ROM. So you have to wipe all of these things. Very important. Just going to swipe to wipe it. Once you're done, just gonna go ahead and install it. And if any, if any case you get the error seven again, so just go ahead and update to the latest render or firmware. So just go ahead and I'm gonna select the a what is it? The Havoc OS, I guess. The two points. Just gonna go ahead and swipe to confirm flash. And as you can see, we have successfully booted into the Havoc OS. So, and of course, uh, you, uh, you cannot see the welcome screen. The reason being is I haven't flashed the Google applications. That's the reason. If I have flashed the Google applications, probably you're gonna see the a uh, welcome screen. So, anyway, guys, this is how you can install a custom ROM, any custom ROM, on your Poco Phone F1 very easily. So, that's about it. So, if you enjoyed this video, just go ahead and. Hit the thumbs up button down there and don't forget to subscribe to this channel and hit the bell icon to get notified so that's it guys thanks for watching this has been case carl i'll catch you in my next one bye bye